Lesson two, what are the costs and impacts associated with energy insecurity? What can be done about energy insecurity? As the world continues to increasingly globalize, demand for energy is rising significantly. Developed and developing countries both are having to find and source the vast sums of energy required from across the globe. Exploitation of resources at home in some cases is not sufficient, such is the case for China, which has the largest coal reserves in the world, it requires significant external sources of energy to supply its rising domestic and industrial consumption needs. It has been able to do this by reaching agreements with several oil producing nations in Africa, as well as investing heavily in the new renewable forms of energy such as wind power. With the rising demand, transnational corporations and nations are seeking to exploit previously uneconomical sources of supply. Such supplies include exploitation of reserves in the Arctic, which potentially is home to over 90 billion barrels of oil, which make up 13% of the total oil available in the world, as well as 30% of the world's gas reserves. Increasingly, crops are being converted to biofuels. This has been used to great effect in countries such as Brazil over the past two decades. However, now lower income countries are using this as a source of cheap energy production. This has led to an increase in food prices and also raised the debate over whether crops should be used as a fuel when income inequalities and extreme hazards such as droughts are on the rise. Conflicts have also been on the rise. Examples include the two Gulf Wars in the Middle East, which were driven by the concerns over Western domestic energy supplies dwindling. 